What's happening, Triple P family, Purple Gang? Man, today I'm going to talk about some stuff that really isn't Vikings related, but I just feel like I want to touch on it. Why? Because, you know, people like Stephen A. Smith, man. Stephen A. Smith is one of the main reasons why I started watching ESPN back in the day as a younger kid, man. Just loved his energy. Him and Skip Bayless coming together and having their debate show. And that formula, man, was amazing to watch, you know, watching two people argue. And I always felt like there was times where even if they did agree on things, the way the show was set up, they had one of y'all had to pick a side. I if one of y'all had to pick this one, one of y'all had to pick that one to make the show go on, make the show worth watching. Right. Keep the keep the viewers entertained. Um, and now ESPN and Disney slash Disney, whatever you want to call it. Right. However you cut it, it don't matter. Right. Because this is the thing. They laid off a lot of people. Now, Stephen A. Smith went on his podcast and he let it be known that, hey, a lot of these guys knew this day was coming. This wasn't nothing that was a secret. It was known. They sent out the information saying, hey, be ready, be prepared to lose your job. Pretty much letting people know. Now, I don't want anybody to lose their income, right? Keyshawn Johnson, (laughs) as Vikings fans, we're just going to say that he lost his job because he didn't have Justin Jefferson on his top five. <laughs> That's going to be a joke that we're going to hold on to, right? But in all reality, man, they got rid of people like Jalen Rose. They got rid of people, Keyshawn Johnson, Jeff Van Gundy, Max Kellerman, which Max Kellerman to me, I thought Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith had a really good show together. I liked the way they would debate back and forth. But um, come to find out, man, Stephen A. Smith wasn't a big fan of Max Kellerman. He didn't really like how things were going with him and Max Kellerman. And part of me felt like, man, maybe it's because Max Kellerman was very intelligent or is very intelligent, shall I say. Like the way his word plays crazy, the way he just, you know, breaks things down. It used to make sense, right? And I felt like there was plenty of times where Max Kellerman made Stephen A. Smith curl up in a ball, man, regardless. Like, Stephen A. Smith has that energy, but Max Kellerman just carried himself a certain way. But the truth is this, man. When it comes to this new sports broadcasting thing, man, YouTube, we're going to give a shout-out to YouTube because that's where Triple P's home base is. Um, it, it's new kids on the block, man. It just is what it is. Like, I can understand that it's hard for ESPN to keep up with people on YouTube when you can just create a a page and if your people buy into you they buy into you you know what i mean if you talk in that talk you don't have an umbrella you don't have to follow certain rules where you can't say certain things you can kind of really give your actual opinion because a lot of those guys their opinion is even filtered right their opinion has to be filtered why because you're on national tv there's just other things that play a part in that to where now you got people like shannon sharp that's you know, create had has his own podcast and all these Ryan Clark, they all got their own podcast, Brandon Marshall. And you can see the growth. And these guys are making the same amount of money damn there doing their own thing, inviting guests. They have the connections already. They don't need an outside company to hey, reach out to this guy, Ray Lewis, and say, hey, you want to be on the podcast? They have actual friendships and relationships that they built already from being in the industry that they can just reach out themselves and say, man, come kick it with me and let's do a podcast. You know, so and and you're starting to see that now you're starting to see just the big boom with YouTube and everything. And I know ESPN, I know there's a rumor out there about Pat McAfee and the way his style is. He brought a new style to pretty much sports broadcasting, you know, the whole standing up, being free, kind of just going back and forth, having his little crew over there and they chipping in and throwing in their two cents. And it it blew up, man. You know, the connections Pat McAfee has that he has Aaron Rodgers on the show a lot. He has this ESPN looked at that and said, hey, maybe the debate shows, maybe that era is just over with. Okay, the Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, the, the, the Max Kellerman, Stephen A, Stephen A, Skip Bayless, like that type of show. They tried to replicate it with other people and it just don't work, man. It's just not the same anymore. You know, it's not interesting. A lot of people would now rather just go on YouTube, type in a random title about whatever they're trying to to, trying to talk about or listen to or whatever, and it pops right up. You have multiple options. You can find your personality you like, and it's that simple. You don't have to wait until 7 o'clock the next morning to watch it. It's just a lot easier, man, a lot more accessible. So 
it definitely put ESPN in a position where they can't afford to pay all these guys anymore because these guys now are getting more money doing their own independent thing and they can go get sponsorships and things like that. All right. So, but it is a sad thing because I grew up watching ESPN, watching ESPN in the morning sports center highlights, all that, man. I used to have that thing running. You know, they show the same thing from damn near six in the morning all the way to like one in the afternoon when it comes to sports center and the highlights. And I would have that thing on rerun. That thing just keep playing I got it on for hours you know what I mean I'm watching the same plays over and over again but that's how much I enjoyed it so it is kind of bittersweet man and you know Stephen A. Smith as big as he is I just got to say this man you ain't safe either bro and I know I think you know that and that's why you have your own podcast out now that you started not too long ago and you're doing shows daily on there with the camera and the microphone and all that stuff because you know you have to have that backup plan That's why, you know, a lot of us independent guys, we can say what we want to and we don't got to we don't have to answer to the master. You know what I'm saying? Like we can say what we want to build our crowd, you know, and obviously we're not going to be as big as you guys. You guys have names. But guess what? We have our families over here and we have fun doing it. You know, I mean, anybody has the opportunity to do stuff like this. If you want to talk about your team, whether it's your favorite team, whether you want to do all sports, whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Just do it. Just do it. You don't need ESPN. Like what this is showing, I did this video to say this. What this is showing is you don't need those big names behind you. Yes, if it's if it's about the money, then okay, yeah, you're going to get paid a lot more money. But when you build yourself something and it's fun, you're having fun doing it, it's a hobby, it's not about the money, man. It's about being able to have freedom of speech, man. You know what I'm saying? Freedom of speech, being able to talk your talk. And you can tell that Stephen A. Smith is a lot more open on his personal podcast than he is when he's on first take. All right. You can just you can definitely see the difference. You can hear the difference. You can feel it. You can just feel it, man. But don't be surprised if new kids are going to come in on the block. They struggling right now. I mean, I mean, the ratings are all the way down because of this, right? Because nobody's tapping in with that. Now you can just, they're just going on YouTube and reaching out to these guys that they are fans of me, for example, Stephen A. Smith, Max Kellerman. I'm fans of those guys, man. I go on YouTube and look for them, you know, but Hey, don't be surprised if you see the Pat McAfee's coming in, taking over, and they being the main characters on ESPN now and just doing their show there. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. But, you know, hey, it's exposed, man. YouTube and other platforms that are free that you can go and start your stuff. It's it's the time now. And it's been the time for at least two years now, you know, but now it's really in our face, man. You could see it. I, you can definitely see it, man. But hey, I love Triple P, man. I love having a Viking centric channel. I love talking about the Vikings. I love everybody that supports us, man. We appreciate it. We definitely appreciate it. And it's just the beginning. You know, we've only been doing it for a year and some change. It's just the beginning, man. We're just getting started. So make sure you keep tapping in. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hey, we going live again soon, man. Watch out for your boy R.A.P. as the season gets closer. It's crank up time. Let's get it, man. Skull Vikes. Appreciate y'all. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer, who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gon' do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.